Hey guys, how you doing? Back on the channel, Tim McCartney here, filmmaker and photographer, going into the second half of this year to talk to you about what it means to be a videographer and photographer in 2021. Straight off the bat, I'd say get your life together. Whatever you need to do, get everything that you need to sort out to make your job as a filmmaker or photographer easier. Is that being healthier, eating better, waking up earlier, going to sleep earlier, whatever it is, start it sooner than later. I've gone through a lot of projects that have been fantastic and some of them haven't gone as well as I'd like them to. The main thing is, it comes down to you. You're the director, you're the DP, you're the one with the camera as a photographer. You're the one taking the photo and you're editing those photos and editing those videos. I've had sets that go really well and, and that's fantastic. And sometimes it's good to have a bit of back and forth um, on your sets because you need a bit of flavor and character, but you need to control that. It's, it's something that you need to be able to direct. The best work and the work that's given me the most repeat uh, business and, and clients are the ones that I've been able to slow down uh, take my time on and produce quality work. And in most cases, that's often as uh, being a DP for a, someone's video where I'm just solely focused on the camera itself or being a, a camera assistant, just helping the DP uh, film, getting what getting lenses for them, standing behind a camera, operating at a conference, but just making sure the camera's working. You need to fit into the film set and there's no film set in Hollywood that has just got one person. It's a bunch of people from lighting to makeup to art design, set design, behind the scenes photographers, um, DPs, camera assistants, the director, assistant director, PA, a lot of different people, people running around. And the reason is because everyone has a specific role and just like a factory, when everyone has and everything has a specific thing to do, the quality control of each department becomes higher and higher, meaning the final output of the video becomes better. We don't have the resources generally to have a, a big crew, but you always might have that friend that can come around and, and help and, and hold a light or help you move your equipment from uh, from the car to the set. And even just that does in increase the quality of your end result and your video because it frees up your mind to think about different things. It frees up your physical ability to not worry about carrying heavy equipment. But you also got to be healthy. You've got to be sharp. You've got to be someone who can be relied on because people come to you wanting to make their image look better and setting up lighting, making sure things kind of balance right. You can spend a long time on your set setting up something, but it's all about preparation. You need to make sure you're prepared for your set. You need to just have it together. Constantly improve your life outside of filmmaking, outside of photography. So then when you get back into your creative world, you are on top of your game. You are sharp, ready to go, have a clear mind, have clarity, focus, and vision. So when you do shoot on set, you're thinking about that and that only. So it's been good chilling with you guys. Let us know what's up in the comments, like, subscribe, you know what time it is. It's YouTube, it's CMC, it's Tim McCartney. I love y'all.